Hey guys, so this is the second part on my three-part series about the Gale Tuct. What to expect when you go to the Gale Tuct. So guys, first I want to thank you for the amazing support that I've gotten on the last part of my series, a Basic Irish Survival Guide because it's one of my best videos so far in terms of your engagement. So yeah, I just thought that I'd quickly say thank you for that. So guys, this is a video aimed at people who have never been to the Gaeltuck before and kind of want to get to know what it's like going to any Gaeltuck. I'm not going to be specifying it to Lurgan until the very end I'm going to do some very Lurgan specific stuff, but for the rest of it I'm going to try and keep it as general as possible given that I haven't gone to any other colleges. So a lot of this is going off what I've heard from my friends who've gone to like Sploder. So yeah, hopefully I should be able to give you a well-rounded view of what it's like to go to any college in Ireland. Also, I'm going to be talking about mainly my experience when I went first, and I went by myself the first time, so maybe my experiences will differ a fair bit more than if you go with your friends from home. So bear that in mind as we go through the video. So one thing to be aware of when you go to the Gale Touch for the first time by yourself is that on the first day you won't know anyone so it can be difficult to start talking to people but at the same time you need to be aware that other people are in the same situation as you. A good proportion of people go to the Gale Touch by themselves. So that first day try and push yourself out of your comfort zone and talk to some people maybe who are sitting around you and stuff like that because on my first day I spent six hours not talking to anyone and it was the longest six hours ever. I was just too nervous to talk to anyone and I only started talking to people when we were put into our houses and when we got back and I had already set up in my room. So if you're gonna do that, don't trust me, it's just not worth it make sure that you talk to a couple of people the first day. You never know who might be in your class, you never know who you might get on with, and that's one of the main things in the Gale Tuck, is getting to know new people. So starting that from day one is very, very important. That kind of leads me on to my next point, which is that everyone is a lot friendlier in the Gale Tuck. I don't know whether it's that you're away from home, or you just feel more open because it's a kind of summer college vibe, but people are a lot friendlier, a lot more truthful, a lot more open, a lot more honest with who they are, and a lot more just themselves. So it's a lot easier to make friends in Lurgan than anywhere else like in school, and it's a lot easier to get to know people in a shorter time because people are more open, because they're just like, yeah, you know what, I'm only here for three weeks, I might as well get it all out on the table. So you make great friends very, very easily if you just put in a little bit of effort in the college when you're there. As well as that, you definitely want to get to know a good few people when you're in the when you're in the college because the people make or break it when you go to the Gale Tucked. If you're in with kind of a dry year, you just won't have as much fun because half of the fun when you go to the Gale Tucked is getting to know new people, making new friends, doing new activities with them. So if you're with people who are kind of dry and conservative and won't do whatever, then honestly you won't have as good of a time. So try to make friends who are willing to try new stuff and kind of be a bit more adventurous while they're out there because when you make friends with people like that, that's when you're going to have the best time when you're out in the college. And also, the more kind of friends you have out there, the more people you can chat to, the better of a time you'll have because you're able to like chat to whoever you really want, get up to date with all of like the gossip that's going around in the college. Like chatting to people and hanging out with people, genuinely one of the best parts of the um, course. So you know what, don't miss out on that. Just try and get to know as many people as possible because the people will make or break your course. One thing that you might not expect, again, if you're going for the first time, is just the quality of friends that you'll make. You will make friends that you will have for life when you go to the college. I can't remember where I read it, if it was 
Dara's video or if it was a Lurgan like post that they put out. But anyway, wherever I heard it, you can you spend 10% of the school year with someone if you're in their class and in their house and if you're friends with them in the college. So think about 10% of a school year. So that's all the time that you spend in school. Now think about how long that would be. You have that percentage of time crammed into three weeks. So that concentration of time, spending so much time with someone, if you get on with them, honestly, it's really not that difficult to believe that you'll make great friends with them. So when I went for the first time, I didn't know anyone. I was starting from zero. But afterwards, I had friends that I still talk to to this day, that I met up with this year on the course, and that I'm meeting up with next year when I go back again. So you know what? You will make such great friends, and that's one of the best parts of going to the Gaeltacht. So, just for those of you who are kind of looking for an idea of day structure, so the day structure is usually fairly similar. So you'll have classes every day. In Lurgan, we had four one-hour classes a day. We had two in the morning, then a break, then two in the uh, afternoon, then lunch. So those classes will be covering conversational Irish mainly um, and then in some other colleges you might go through grammar points and stuff like that. So you'll always have classes no matter what college you go to. So after lunch there's usually activities. The activities that you do depend on the college. You usually have the staples like basketball, football, uh, kayaking, swimming. And then, depending on the college, you might have archery, you might have cycling, you might have, there's a slip and slide in Sploder, I think. So, it just depends on the college what type of IMACD you have. But, just be prepared for that, bring some, a change of clothes maybe for after, or just wear in clothes that you'd be happy enough to wear for your IMACD. So, just so that you'd be prepared for it. And then, you go home, you have your dinner, and then you come back into the college at night and you have your Cayley. So the Cayleys are traditional Irish dances and to be honest, at, with the Cayleys, at the start they're kind of awkward because you don't know many people there. But then as they get on it gets fun like for the next week or two. But it's three weeks, you're doing the same thing every night, so last week it gets tedious. So you kind of, that little sweet spot second week, enjoy it while you can. Third week it will get stale, but you know what, what can you do? There's only so much that you can do with Kayleys. That's not saying however that they don't try to make it fun. One of the things that colleges usually do is they have theme nights for the Kayleys, which can help to really mix it up and make it more fun. So they might have a cross-dress night, they might have a traffic light night, they might have uh, superheroes or something like that. So you dress up in fancy dress and you know what, it's good fun and it's kind of a good way to break up the tedium of doing the same Kaylee every single night. So yeah, it works in that way. So one other kind of staple of uh, Kloshtas is the disco, if you're lucky enough to have them. So your experiences of discos uh, wildly vary depending on what college you go to. In Lurgan you have them out in a pubble, which is basically a room-tent hybrid. It's pretty cool, but it's dark in there, they get in a DJ. Uh, you're not able to play any music with English in it, so it's just techno and Lurgan remixes. So, they're good fun, and you know what? They're great crack to go to, and yeah, they're pretty good. But, in other colleges, they're not so good. I know that in one of the Sploder colleges, in some of the Sploder colleges they don't have discos. In one that I have heard of that do have discos, it's in the hall, it's fully lit, and it's just not that great. So, you know what? Just be aware that if there, even if there are discos, they might not be great, but if they are, they are some of the best crack in the Gaeltacht. So, speaking of some of the best crack in the Gaeltacht, 
along with the imakti, along with chatting to people, along with the discos. The kind of culmination of all of that is the crack in the house. The house that you're put in is one of the defining factors of your Corsa. If you're put in a good house, you will have a good time at the college. So the way that the house can kind of feed in is having the good crack at night, like chatting to each other about what happened throughout the day, and that might be chatting about what happened at the Imukti, so that you're kind of keeping up to date with everything that's happening in the college. And then also it feeds into discos, because obviously you're kind of getting ready at the house, everyone's kind of chatting about like what's going to go down at the disco, and it should be, you know, good crack chatting to them about that. And then obviously after the disco you talk about what happened at the disco, and then that's always good crack. So the house kind of defines it. As well as that, you also have the time between getting home from the college and going out to the Kayleys or the discos, and that's always great crack. So you usually have like your dinner, and then you kind of hang out in the room, go on your phones and chat, and you know, have a bit of banter, and that's one of the best times of the day, because once you're able to relax and kind of get back the energy that you've spent going to the college during the day, and at the same time, you're able to have fun. So it's kind of one of those sweet spot areas that you should definitely enjoy. Another thing that you need to be ready for when you go to the college is that any diet that you have been on will go out the window. So you're essentially going to be forced to take what you can get. So I, when I'm at home, usually eat pretty healthily. I wouldn't say that I, you know, eat like a athlete or anything like that, but I, you know, have a good balanced diet. But whenever I've gone to the Gale Tucked, that has gone out the window. I take what I can get. I eat pot noodles, I eat chocolate, I eat um, jellies, just whatever I can get into me. Because when I went, especially last year, the Valentine that I was with wasn't a great cook. So I took what I could get when I was in the college and at the college shop so that I didn't have to eat what the Valentine cooked for me. So if you've got a good chef as your Valentine, then that mightn't be as much of an issue. The one that I had, I was forced to just get whatever I could into my face when I was in the college so that I didn't have to eat much of what she gave me. So any kind of vegetarian diets, those are difficult to keep as well. There was like fruit salads that you could have at Lurgan and that was about it. And then any like sweets from the shop and stuff like that. Um, any like high performance diets, that's again very difficult to keep in Lurgan because you have basically paninis, you have your deli, you have your wraps and you have your pasta. The pasta probably being the best for that but you're not going to get much of that, so you know what, there's not much you can do. So yeah, if you're expecting to keep like healthy eating or a good diet when you're in the Gale Tucked, lose that expectation now before you go. So now finally, you've been through everything in the Gale Tucked for better or worse, you've gotten through it, and hopefully you've enjoyed it, it's gotten to the last day. Now, the last night and the last day are very different. The last night, I don't know what it's like in other colleges, but in Lurgan, everyone, it's either a disco or it's fantasy, and everyone is kind of just together, kind of saying goodbye to each other on the last night and saying how good of a course they had together and kind of hugging it out. And you know what? I think that's a good way to have it. So all of the kind of like tears and stuff like that are gone first night, everyone who's going to cry has cried last night, and then when it gets to the last day, everyone is just tired, everyone is feeling down, they just want to go, they just want to say goodbye to their friends and kind of get some sleep, basically. So honestly, the last night and day are the worst parts of the Geltucht, because you just have to say goodbye to everyone that you've met, and I suppose that's good in a way that it's the worst part, because shows that you've enjoyed it and that you've made good friends. And you know what? It's something that everyone goes through if they've had a good time with the Gale Tucked. You just have to, you know, make sure that you go back next year. 
So guys, that was my video for what to expect when you go to the Gale Tucked. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and if you have, like and subscribe down below. I don't know when the next part of it's going to be, because the next part of it is going to be very special and very difficult for me to do. So I'll give you plenty of notice from when it's coming out, but in the meantime I'm going to be doing going back to my covers and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed that, please uh, click the bell icon to make sure that you stay up to date with all of those. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video.